uh, sometimes we want to use our data set to run some SQL queries in MySQL, but the date format in the data set is different than what MySQL expects. And if there are hundreds or thousands of records, you can't go and change the date in every record. So what you can do is the following. Let's say this is the code. This is the, these are the commands used to generate the table. So I am copying a few of them for the moment. So how you can do it is copy this and go here. Now here, if you see the start date is a date data type, but the date format is not correct. So when you run this in MySQL, it will throw an error. Therefore, what you do is you change this date format to where care as I did here. Now it, it will run fine, but the start date won't have date format. So let's run this. And now let's check this. This is showing the table here. And the start date, you can see this is not the format that MySQL expects. And the date start date is not a date data type. So to make it date data type, what you do is you export this in CSV. Let's say, I'll say temp dot CSV and save. So if you open it, uh, here's how it looks. So the way it's written is also not, um, what is that term, <laughs> consistent. So to make it work, what you do is you select this row, the start date, and then press control one. Control one, and this will open this dialog box. And here you go to date format, and we want the date format to be year, month, and day. So you select this date format and press OK. Uh, does it work? It did not, I guess. OK. <laughs> Okay, since it did not work, we need to take help of Python. So you open a Colab notebook and put your file in here. So I have uploaded temp.csv, which contains the data cell. And I run it here. Run anyway. It is no Excel again. PSV. Okay. A uh, start date is an object data type, not date. But if we look at this, here the format is still consistent um, compared to this, where there is slash here, there is hyphen here. So this data format is still consistent. Now what you can do is just, just download this worksheet, uh, not worksheet, this spreadsheet or CSV file. So data is the CSV file you can download now. 
let's say I, I download this. Because the format here, the date format is, is consistent. So if we apply the Excel function, it should work. So let me say temp Python. Right. Now I open this new file temp Python in this. It still did not work. Okay. Let me see. Control one. Date. Okay. Not really helpful. So I'll go back and perform these other operations as well. I'll say PD to date time and I'll convert this to string. Okay, now let's see. We'll download it again and see if it helps. Okay, it, it did help actually. Here the the slash, but here it's converted to hyphen, and this is what we wanted. So you need to run a couple of more lines. You need to convert this date start date column to date format, and then Convert to a string if that helps. Otherwise, you can directly go ahead. So let me download this one and this should work. Come on. Okay. Then I'll say M P and save. Now let's open this and see how it works. Yeah, this is much better, right? This is completely consistent, but the format is different. So now you do control one and go to date and select the format and say, okay, this is what we want. This is what we want. But the problem is if you save this, and you open this again, this will not permanently save. So if you save it, it will again, when you open it next time, the format, it, it won't change. It is just change for the, for temporarily showing this to you in this format. So what you do is you go to file and do save as, and save it somewhere. Let's say I'm saving it in here as Excel, because if you save it, in CSE format, it will regain the previous uh, format of date. So instead, you have to save it as an Excel workbook. So I'll save it as Excel workbook and say OK. All right. Let's open this now. Excel. Okay, perfect. It has the format that we want. But the problem is now that you can't directly import this in Workbench. So for example, I wanted to import it in here. I do table import and I browse. I won't see that file, Excel file here. You can only import CSV files in Excel directly. So there is one more step that you'll have to do is you'll have to convert convert SQL file to sorry the Excel file to SQL file and you can use the website sqlizer.io here you put your SQL file sorry Excel file and generate MySQL data. Uh, MySQL file. So it's generating Q20 personalizing download. Okay. Now you download this and you are all set. This is what you wanted. Now you can open it using MySQL, which it will do in a moment. Right. Right. This is so now you see that. The date format is what we wanted. This has now changed, right? 
and here start date is date time. So this is perfect. Now you copy this and run. Just run it and you will have your table ready with the required date format. This is basically the trick. It is a bit lengthier, but I could not figure out anything else other than doing this. So have a good time running SQL queries. See ya.